The ball deflected, and Jordan climbs the ladder to pick off the errant pass. They go to Worthy for the turnaround. And the rebound with position inside by Clarence Tillman. Jordan on the move, gets by Tillman. Scored on last Saturday night at Carmichael Auditorium. Michael Jordan, bingo. Black, he knocked down Jimmy Black. No foul call, and Tillman strips it out. Jordan is charged with a personal foul, his first. My name is Clarence A.E. Tillman, uh, born and raised in South Philadelphia. Bobby Lewis, Mr. Lewis, uh, started the program for us, and um, that's when I got involved with basketball. T. Shields and Clark Gross, they kind of took me under their wing and showed me the basics of basketball and also life. Um, those guys raised me and, and really showed me what basketball was really about. Between Gray Wire, Sunny Hill League, Sunny Future, Future League, um, moved up to the Sunny Hill League, um, then my life started changing. I was so dominant in middle school that my elementary school decided to name a ward after me. In 1975, I attended West Philadelphia High School. Um, before I got there, um, they had already won a, um, a city championship um, with guys like Timmy Smith, Gene Banks, and um, Gene Banks and myself was so celebrated at the time that Hall of Famer, Philadelphia World Champs, Phillies, Mike Smith wanted to take a picture with us in the dugout. In my three years at West Philadelphia High, we won three city championships and three public league champions, championships. In three years, I lost one game. We won 68 straight games in a row. We became national champs my junior year at West Philly. At the end of my senior year, I was first team all public, first team all state, first team all city, and first team all American, ranked as the number one shooting forward coming out of the nation. In 1978, Reggie Jackson and I was selected to participate in the first McDonald All-American game played right here at the Philadelphia Spectrum. Being a McDonald's All-American, I had offers from every school in the country. Um, at the time, I chose the University of Kentucky. Saw number 35, Clarence Tillman, out of Philadelphia, the freshman into the game for Kentucky. Defense, Nash underneath. Tough there. Rebound, Tillman, guarded by Nash. A lot of contact there. Tillman getting it back. Tillman hits it. Excellent outside shot by the freshman. He's a great outside shooter. And I came in as a freshman thinking that I was going to play more than I did. And uh, things just didn't work out there. And I made a decision to leave to attend uh, Rutgers University. My senior year, the team wound up making it to the Sweet 16. We played uh, St. John's, and we played them down to the wire. We lost Chris Mullins, Walter Berry, Kevin Williams, uh, and all those guys were first round NBA uh, picks. As a professional, I wound up playing in the CBA, played for the Rockford Lightnings for uh, a year. Um, Evansville in Indiana, had a, a step with those guys. And then from there, I uh, wound up playing in um, Europe for like, 13 years in, a, in different countries, France, Israel, Germany, Switzerland, Argentina, Venezuela. So I had, I had a good experience um, overseas. This is Clarence A.G. E. Tillman signing off with the All-City Classic, Bridging the Gap, Know Your History.